we're talking about brake pads and minimum wear specifications. Next. This video is sponsored by NAPA, your trusted name in automotive parts and accessories. Visit NAPAonline.com for more information. I recently saw a repair order that had written on it 20% of the material left. It really had me asking a lot of questions. Like, how did he know how much originally came on the vehicle, and did he actually measure how much material was on the vehicle right now? And how does that percentage correspond to the OE specifications? It doesn't. There's no way to give a percentage on how much material is left on the brake pad. If you look at the service information for any domestic or import manufacturer, you will see one thing about brake pads, a minimum wear specification. The minimum wear specification is typically measured from the backing plate, where the friction meets up, to the area of the friction material that meets with the rotor. On most vehicles, it's between two to three millimeters. On some vehicles, it may be as high as four to five millimeters. It's critical that you check the service information for this specification. On some applications or some manufacturers, they may even have a tapered pad wear specification. This is a variance between two to three millimeters from one end of the brake pad to the other. This is a tolerance that is given because brake calipers, they can shift, they can move, and this may cause some tapered brake wear. When you're performing a brake inspection, it is critical that you measure the amount of material left on the inboard and outboard pad. Typically on most floating caliper arrangements, most of the material will be removed from the inboard pad, even if the caliper guide pins and brackets are properly moving. This is just how the caliper works. It is also why typically a wear sensor that may be mechanical like the squealer or an electronic brake wear sensor is mounted on that inboard pad. So back to the percentages question. If you were to produce an accurate percentage of how much brake material is left on a brake pad, you would need to know how much brake pad material was originally on that pad and then do your calculation from there. It's almost impossible to find the nominal thickness for a new pad in the service information. Some manufacturers like Toyota, it's gonna to be there, but a lot of other manufacturers like BMW, Mercedes, that specification typically is not there. Estimating by mileage that the customer drives to see when they're gonna need their next brake replacement, well, that can be inaccurate. The best way I like to look at it is when is the customer coming in for their next service and can the brake system last that long? If you don't feel it will, well, recommend a brake pad replacement. But the most critical thing to understand is that minimum wear specification plays also into the brake rotor. If both pads are worn to the minimum wear specification, and let's say the rotor is down to its discard thickness, this can cause issues with the caliper. In other words, that piston in the caliper is becoming too far extended and it can cause a leak and possibly a hydraulic failure. This is why you need to check the brake pad thickness to make sure it meets up with the specifications set forth by the manufacturer. So just keep these things in mind the next brake pad inspection that you perform and make sure you're writing down the thickness of the brake pads on the repair order. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.